Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Lord Baroff featuring what has to be chat's favorite minion in this patch. And that is Magma Lock, the card that allows you to effectively do whatever you want and then just passively gain stats on the board. You want to cycle some things? Great. You want to play toward Elise and go get triples in the six? Great. All the while, the little Magma Lock sits on the board and goes, yeah, I'll just be bigger. Yep, you can level up. I got your back. And then once you get a couple of them rolling, probably look for, you know, triples in the six. Maybe get some seafood and turn them golden. Suddenly that board isn't just passively scaling, it's also killing people at the same time. And you only need to look for one or two kind of tech cards, say Leroy's, Baron Selfless, Manted, whatever it might be. And that game's just over. All right, enjoy. Gonna give it a minute before we gamble this one. See if people level. We have normal curve, normal curve. Lich King versus Tor or Taron. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Which one's better at this point in the game? Which hero power? One demon versus one demon. We know this demon's the 5 3, though. But you gotta expect like a death rattle tends to outweigh at that point in the game. Ew, he is like all greed. I hate this card early game. I hate this card in general, to be fair. What a troll bet. And we know this is above average demon, to be fair. He did lose. God damn, man. Did you just like hold your cards? How did you take five damage on Tavern 2 to someone with a worse hero power than you? With both of you having the same level curve. Ouch. All right, whatever. Yes, we're just going to have to deal with that one. All right, Denathrius staying on Tavern 1. Took four damage from... That's weird. Took four damage from a an Illidan that went to two. Trickster? I mean, sure. Trickster's a card. But you're not going to have a buff Trickster at that point in the game. <laughs> How are you so weak staying on one? He just cycled the completest quest is what he's doing. Whatever he's doing, he just, like, forced his quest immediately. No, for Terran, I'm aware of what you're talking about. But it's only a... It can't be a buffed. Not realistically. Especially with two demons showing. Not gonna be a buffed trickster. Hard game. We did get a triple. Who the hell knows what's gonna happen from here? We can just go up. Take our 10 damage or 8 damage, then triple into a 5. Or we take a 4 right now. I don't think so. Not in this game. Fives aren't great either. Could kind of reach for a 6 if we get the gamble right, but... Seeing as how that one has not paid off for us. Either ties or... Or swing fights go in a way that we shouldn't... Or they shouldn't on average go. We got here. We got good power out of Terran... Normal curve to three. We have normal curve to three, Master Win, beat Illidan. And a Nixia hero power this turn. Okay.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gross. We said eight. Seven to nine is the range. Woohoo! <laughs> we got one. Beast Demon Dragon Murloc Quillbor. Could it ever be a six? We're 26 health. Probably not. Not good enough lobby for sixes anyway. Magmalock early at least. That's something. Titus. Sewer Rat. Leapers. Leapers. You do like to see that. Even like to see that. Look, Leapers. Tad's kind of cute instead of Skyfin here. Considering the amount of gold that we have. I love Skyfin though. A little bit of time. You gonna level? No. I'm gonna buy here. I'm gonna do this. Into that. Stayed down. Gold wise, the one extra gold allows us to play this card. And if we get one economy, then we have a full board. If we don't get one economy, then we just sell the minion off. So we just like break the alley cat. Either way, it's kind of nice. Ooh. How was your day, Bofer? Long. Long day. Work with something else. But we're on the other side of it. And that we can work with. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. It's time to go up. Try to keep the pair one more turn. Cycle for a blood gym. Roll the board once, or just live with this. Blood Gym is a 3-3. I don't think we spend gold on a 3-3 at this point in the game. We just live with this as our board for one turn. Did the meetings go well? Yeah, they weren't anything crazy. It was just like, it was a lot. For some reason, scheduling a bunch of stuff at the end of the day Friday is popular right now. Not really sure why that is the case. I'm not going to sit here and vent about it. That board plus one turn, and he leveled this turn too. He's not very strong. Denathrius has been getting Murlocs every turn. On the other hand, he's been getting murdered too. But that's a triple this turn into a five. And he leveled aggressively, remember? So we're on five. We're above damage cap. Kind of a shit Leroy value, but it is what it is. Hmm. Tyra win, and we get the W, and we're on Tavern 5, so feels good, man. Just staring, I know, he just stares. I'm just waiting, waiting for you to know. We got the gamble, we're not going the 6. We're looking for stuff to play toward Magma Lock, we're looking for this triple... Don't hate this buff. Don't hate this for sure. Let's take a look at this immediately to get an idea. Unfortunately, it is not a battle cry, nor is it the triple. I'm not playing toward like smuggler for Skyfin. We only have one Skyfin. A triple. Now we just get awkward. Could just be Leroy. He's very hard for us to keep in this game. Nadina? Seafood? Love seafood at this stage of the game. I'm not going to play the Merc Eye. As much as I'd like to print more shit. Yeah. 
Yee! Now we move in. Yee! Oh my god. What is this? What is even happening? What is this board? I want to sell both. I'll use the gamble here. What is this? Murgles! <laughs> it's illegal! It is illegal! Reborn Golden Leapfrogger. EOP. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, well, we get there. So many Murgles. We be Murgling, dude. Sketchy start to a game with the gambles, but we recover off of the, the magma locks. Rip gamble. Did you really lose? Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So pretty much playing anything through is good, but we could do better. We got an elemental, a murloc, and a dragon on the board. This is a 6-6. Six, six. I don't think we really care that much about Elise, because we don't want to roll a bunch of times when we have all murlocs or magma locks. And again, we play two cards for effectively eight gold. Seafoods are great. All right. Bofer. Bofer, 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 Bofer. The dumb, dude. Sometimes it's just the dumb. You just can't fix the dumb. Sometimes, man. Just like uh, Promo Wing, where it's almost always better to hold your cards till after you level. Muscle memory outweighs the the thought process. All right, not bad. Pretty good, actually. Like, actually, really good hits. Actually, really good hits. You know what other language other than English? Do you want to learn another language? Not really. I know basic Spanish. But I mean, like, barely enough to, to understand simple phrases. But it's just not something I have time for in my life. Nor is it really necessary. Hmm... Taunt isn't terrible. That was a good card. Kind of just want to end on the ghoul at this point. This thing is still fairly permanent to us. Ideally, we get to a place where we find another Chrono, and then we can play for Nadina or something. Because that's about all we do in this one. We got ourselves a nice amount of stats in the forms of the Murgles. We got our triple here. Next turn. I'm like, look at this. Turn nine combat results in top five. This guy looks to be relatively strong. This guy looks to be relatively strong. These guys are holding on for dear life. He's getting free Murgles every turn, but random Murlocs don't do that much. Should be dead. Or I guess one of them is potentially fighting the ghost, so. And this board's nothing. I thought this was relatively strong, but he's just, like, straight tempo. Our board has the scaling. We should be, maybe not favored to win, but at least, like, the second strongest person. It is hard to tell how good this board is. The other three shouldn't be any real threat toward late game. Unless this guy just, you know, pops off with a random murlocs. It's possible. Crazier shit has happened. Probably play for this. It's okay.
Okay. Once we have this though, nice. That is actually nice. Too bad we can't go one more board. I'm gonna take one of you out of here. Trash. Trash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can try it again. Ah, oh, the Murloc dough. I love the Murloc's dough. Lost board, we can actually play. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put you back down. We're gonna live with this for one turn and then we're gonna try again next turn. Shouldn't die immediately. No sap for leapers. It's not leapers. Nobody's leapers. <clears throat> Only board we're really threatened by is this one because it could be Felbat stuff. This is a Murgle board. We really want Nadina or Manted. At this point in the game, it is not Felbat. It is Fel Stompy. Ew. Ew. All right, well, that was the worst it could go. I'm a broken record. It's always the worst hits. It's really just three trades, right? That dictate this fight. All three of them lost a one or two out of three into a 50-50 into a 50-50. That's the entirety of the game. That's it. That's all we needed to do. Was not fail all three of them. Classic RNG. It's too late to be playing this, man. On the on the magma lock. On the other hand, the tad in the shop is real nice. Okay, game. You're just trolling at this point. Add or magma lock is definitely debatable. They're all kind of cute. I like how I'm not playing this wolf in after all that. This thing giving poison to something isn't necessarily better, or magma lock, I should say. Isn't necessarily better. But it's tough to tell. Random poison naturally goes on the magma lock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exact zig where we should zag, unfortunately. He hits the poison divine shield combo. Rough. At least we don't die. Million cards played, it's just irrelevant. We need the cards that we named. We need Nadina and we need fucking Manted. We don't need more stats on these minions. Nadina is double shield. Manted fits this board as the last minion. 
annoying, but but whatever. It's bumper plus shield. We got this. This time for sure. This time for sure. Go to hell, Bob. 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 Bobby. All right, let's make the assumption. Mm, kind of make the assumption that this guy dies. Our play is Ghoul, not Leroy, unless we think we die to this ghost, which I really don't. We can taunt Leroy. Doesn't really do much unless we taunt something else. Can zap. It's not very good. Get the win of 50 50, even get value from it. Good taunt and zap. As long as we don't give this thing health. Interesting. Actually did get relatively strong. And also our order just sucks against this board. <laughs> our order's so bad there. Lose both of, or two minions to value trades. A little annoying. Play Charlie and bet? No. If we buff the attack on uh on Leroy, it goes to seven, it kills Ghoul. So like that's a hard throw here. Then if we play Zap into this board, this is what we're expecting to fight, right? His ghoul pops when it attacks first, goes off and Zap does nothing. We would have this here as our board against the against this board so that his ghoul goes up or hits into the Leroy, it doesn't kill it, and then Zap kills the Baron into Ghoul, pops the selfless, and then we have a five versus six, where this thing's not dead because the Baron didn't even pop for the ghoul. This lives and then trades one of them. Not gonna fight that though. Final board. Find a final card. How about a Nadina? Maybe a Mantid? All right, all right, fine, whatever. It's cool, it's whatever. It's chill, bruh. Bruh, it's chill. He has not tripled since the last time we fought him. To my knowledge. Which means it's probably not Manted. Could be a taunted Leroy. But it's very unlikely that this thing would die to one hit from his board. So we should try to value trade that before the selfless and then he'll hit into Leroy so we don't accidentally shield the Leroy. He has one Manted. Right into Leroy. Look at this guy. He actually just cycled all day for the Urzul. I never expected him to do that at all. Imagine just cycling for the Urzul nonstop. I guess. I mean, it's it's what the direction he decided to take was I'm going to make big Urzul. Fair enough. That'll do. Okay, we got there. I was waiting for the 5.7% to the ghost. It's all right. We dodged a 5.7 and a 5.9 percenter to win. OP. Magma lock carry. Thanks for avenging me. Got you. I got you.